Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivian with Theo and today we're going to be doing a DIY living conditioner. Uh, with this whole quarantine thing, you can't really leave the house to go and buy living conditioner. So mine ended and I decided um, to do a DIY one with stuff that you already have at home. So yes, I think that's it's easier than to have to put just it's easier than putting yourself through going out or putting your hair through not actually having all the nutrients that it requires because living is really um, a requirement for all of us. Um, so before we get into the video, before I show you how to make the living conditioner, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you are staying at home, please, if you can. Yes, so now let's get straight into the video. Um, so before I get into showing you how to use the, this is how it looks. I don't know if it can focus. I think you can see the layers from, this is the water and the rose water. And then this is the shea butter and the castor oil. I actually thought I'd have to warm it up so that the oil can mix with the water and the rose water. But not necessarily. I, I made it last night so... When I shake it up, it actually mm, it mixes. But you'll have to do this continuously as as you put on one section, you shake it up, and then again, again, again. This solution you don't even have to refrigerate it. You can just put it next to your other hair products. Okay, now straight into the video. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm all done with my my tuta. Even the tuna care for this lockdown. So before I finish, um, I'm going to be using my shea butter from Shea Africa to just um, lock in the moisture. Seal in, not lock. To just. To seal in the moisture for yeah. So 
ends especially we said that um, for length retention you have to make sure your ends are always good because kama is using a katika you can't retain length because you get it right but yes so cut your ends to make sure they're not dry to make sure they don't split I need to trim my hair Just spread it out. This shea butter really melts in your hands, so and if you're like me, if you're chasing your edges, you want to just make sure they're nicely coated. There you go. Now the best part about this leave-in conditioner is, is it does not leave any residue so if you're still going to use it with other products when you're styling it works it not leave your hair white or anything like that so and it feels really refreshing because of the rose water it actually smells nice at first i thought it would smell kind of DIY-ish, see if that makes sense, but kind of DIY-ish, so yeah, so now I'm all done, I'm just going to mistake like this, and a coach queen sono, can't wait, anyway, thank you so much for watching, if you are a new, um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, if you are not a new subscriber, welcome back, thank you for coming back to my channel remember to hit that notification bell just so you can be notified of when I have a new video coming um, I'm going to be doing a lot of DIY stuff because of this whole social isolation thing we want to make sure we're staying protected and safe and our hair is still safe and growing and healthy and all of that so that's all for the video Sister Amanda Coach, Quinsono. See you next time. Bye bye.